Hello everyone, my name is Keith. In this quick community question video, I'm gonna be going over how to take pictures from your Mavic 2 and put them onto your computer. This is going to be a quick video, so if you guys like it, leave me a comment below and let me know that you like it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. So the first way to get pictures from your drone to your computer is the most common way is by taking the SD card out of the drone and putting it into your computer through a SD card reader. The Mavic 2, uh, if you take nothing away from this video, the only thing you need to remember is that the SD card is on the same side, wherever you guys can see this, as Mavic 2 is printed on your drone. I would not know how many times in the past, I went to my other side of my drone, took this little door off, and then realized like, oh, this is the drone reset button. Uh, it's, it's on, the SD card is on the same side as the writing. So take your SD card out, pop it into your computer, and then it just reacts as a normal computer or a normal camera, or a um, if you're on a Windows machine, it'll just read it as a regular disc. The next way to get footage off of your drone from the internal storage is to go to the other side of the drone and not the very bottom door, but the one up top, this one. You can take the door off and this is a USB-C port. You can take a regular USB-C to uh, USB-C or USB-A, whatever your computer uses, cable, and you can access all of your internal storage and you can transfer and delete you by using that port right there. Uh, a lot of people get tripped up on that. It's the same on the Mavic Air. The Mavic Air has eight gigs of onboard storage and I think it's located uh, under the, there's like a little door in the back you have to like pick up and then the USB-C port is on the back of the Mavic Air. So those are the major ways to get footage from your drone to your computer. I think that taking the SD card out and putting it directly into your computer is faster than using the uh, USB-C cable. Uh, for your onboard storage, you don't really have that luxury, but if you are constantly um, shooting a lot of footage, like 64 or 128 gigs, I think directly having that card into your computer does save a couple of minutes. Uh, if you guys like this video, please comment and subscribe. Uh, like the video. I will try to answer all of your comments below. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, let me know below and I'll see you guys in the next one.